we're going to be looking at NASA's journey to the Psyche 16 asteroid. I think it's Psyche 16. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're probably right. I was thinking of the show Psyche. Yeah. Which is a great show, by the way. Fantastic show. Underrated. Yeah. Besides the point. Psyche 16. Let's go back to it. It's a joint effort between Maxar Technologies, NASA JPL, and Arizona State University. So this asteroid is about 370 million kilometers away. And the reason that scientists are interested in it is because this thing is like mostly made of metal, right? And they think that it might hold the secrets about how our planet is formed and really any planet is formed because they believe that it was originally the inner core of some earlier planet. Okay. Yeah. Um, this thing is like insanely huge. It's 226 kilometers wide. And the journey to get to it is actually pretty long. But before we get into that, I want to talk about a little bit of the background. This past March, Maxar Technologies got the chassis to NASA JPL. And from basically March until the next year or so, JPL engineers are going to be assembling all the goodies onto the spacecraft. They're going to be putting on these sensors and stuff to better study the planet. And if all goes well, this thing is going to launch August 2022 for its four-year trip to get to the asteroid where it's going to spend 21 months just studying the whole thing. What do they want to figure out about this asteroid? Like, what's what's worth studying? What ki- what kind of stuff are they putting on this satellite to understand it? So there's, like, three main instruments that they're putting in there. Um, they want to understand the magnetic field. They want okay. to just get some images to better understand what it looks like. But most importantly, they have this thing called the spectrometer on board. And it's, we, Dan, and, you know, we've used this thing in our chemistry lab classes. You're basically understanding the chemical composition. They want to know if the thing is actually made of the thing they, they think it's made of. They have a guess that it's mostly nickel. All right. So mostly nickel. Are they going to go land on it or are they just going to orbit around it? No landing. Just orbiting it. They're going to orbit it for 21 months. So they can do this all from orbit. Yeah. They're going to collect a bunch of data about what it's made of. And I think it's pretty interesting to discover what it's made of because I read a separate article about Psyche 16 saying that it's actually worth $10,000 quadrillion. Whoa. whoa, whoa, Yeah. whoa, Whoa. So... Based on the amount of rare earth metals that are in that chunk of metal that you said that's about 226 kilometers wide, the distance from L.A. to San Diego, 10,000 quadrillion dollars worth of metal in that thing. All right. You can't just drop a number like quadrillion without context. So give the lovely people some context. What is 10,000 quadrillion dollars? In a it's a lot of zeros. Um, just <laughs> two points of context I'll give you. Okay. Um, the entire world economy in... 2019 was 142 trillion dollars this asteroid in space is worth 71,000 times more than the entire world economy was it's enough that if you cut this yeah if you cut this asteroid up into pieces brought it back to earth and split it up and everyone got an even piece of it at market prices today the chunk of metal that you would own is worth 1.2 billion dollars so basically a ton of very valuable metals so to everyone who's upset about NASA's $30 billion a year funding, for a low, low price of $30 billion, <laughs> we could all be billionaires on this planet. Basically. That's what you're telling me. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, Psyche 16, which is, by the way, the, also, uh, the name of the asteroid, but the spacecraft is also named Psyche. It's not going to bring back anything. It's just going to study and tell us what it's made out of. I know there's a bunch of companies that are like spinning up that are supposed to do asteroid mining so maybe we're not too far away from a future where we can bring back some of that precious metal but yeah well it 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 definitely raises a question of like at what point does it become worth it to send a spacecraft to an asteroid like this that we know has a lot of valuable metals on it at what point does that become more feasible than destroying the planet that we live on i'd argue that that tipping point is soon it's now basically right because like Nickel is used to make batteries, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. We're already reaching that point with the rise of electric vehicles, with the rise of consumer electronics. Like, we've, we're have we starting to get tapped out. So this is making more and more sense the more we talk about it. Yeah, and I, mean, I guess it it proves the point that they should go validate what type of metals are there. Maybe it opens the door towards asteroid mining in the future. Who knows? And maybe even opens the bigger door of us becoming billionaires. I, I, you know, I would settle at being a millionaire if the billionaire is not possible. Yeah, I, I don't need the 1.2 billion. I would take a few million. But honestly, it's fun to talk about making money off of asteroids. But that future is a little far off. 